Hello everyone and welcome back to another video this time I've got for you a Lego Spider-Man figure custom made by me the Wolfpack and I know I already said I would be doing more videos this week but stuff happened and I just haven't had time to record and do all that stuff so I'm finally here and I, I thank you for your patience and understanding anyways so this time, it's a Spider-Man figure, and to be honest, I did not see myself making a Spider-Man figure. And yes, I did watch the Captain America Civil War trailer number two. Um, I'm just gonna say that I'm just gonna keep my Spider-Man like he is. I may show it in the Captain America Civil War showcase, but I do not plan to make like um, changes or upgrades to the figure itself so I'm just gonna point that out right now and then second off um, I said I would be doing a Lego clone trooper arc trooper showcase video including blitz echo and fives however I need another arc trooper helmet sadly and I do not have access to one at the moment so it would take me another week or two to get one so what could happen is I can make a showcase for Blitz only or I can delay the entire thing and later on make the full showcase. And I, I really want to showcase all three at the same time. I think that would be better. So I may decide that instead of just making Blitz and then Echo and Fives later. So anyways, um, that's pretty much what's been going on lately. Uh, Batman vs Superman is coming up, so I'm going to make those figures. I definitely will be making Batman and Superman. Also, Batman will be the armored Batman, not really the generic Batman that we see every time because there's a lot of those already. I really want to make the armored Batman. And part of me wants to make a Wonder Woman as well but I don't promise anything. So anyways, enough of that. So now let's take a look at the Spider-Man figure, shall we? So here we have the Spider-Man, and as you can see, I did add webs all around his entire suit, and I'm really happy how it all came out to be. I never thought I could have done such a tiny artwork on such a tiny figure, but it Look, here it is. I added webs to the arms, the hands, the boots, and uh, even the hips. Um, as you can see, I did not add webs all around the head, and that's because I did try to do that. However, the webs were a little bit too thick, if you know what I mean. Um, they weren't thin enough and the head just looked so dark it just didn't look right so I decided to do what Lego did and just leave a, a blank space right in right between the back in the front of the head uh, however I did do webs on the arms and hands which I'm really happy about because that's what Lego should have done number one Lego should have given Spider-Man red arms it just looks right. Blue arms don't really look that correct. I don't know why, but I mean, the inside of the arm is blue, but the outside of the arm is red. Lego decided to go with blue the whole arm. And that's not exactly what Spider-Man looks like. So I just switched the arms and added webs, and it looks like 10 times better. Then the spider, I kind of made a huge spider because, number one, it's kind of hard to make a spider on top of webs and not like ruining everything. So I did a big spider so I can notice that it's a spider. I think it came out pretty good. I made it gray so that you can notice the spider instead of making it black because it would like, it would blend in with the webs, the black webs. The back of the figure is pretty awesome. I'm really happy of how the back came out to be. The spider is 
spot on. I love how this spider came out. I really love it. Uh, the webs continue on his back, neck, and his hips, his boots all around. So yeah, this is a very, very awesome figure. Even though it's like a straight copy of the figure Lego made, the first Spider-Man Lego made, it's a very awesome figure for my collection and I'm really happy how this figure came out to be. Now, um, I know that he does have a few minor changes, but as I said before, I'm not going to be making changes to the Civil War version simply because I, I just don't feel like it. I, I kind of want to keep the original look to him. So yeah, also, I may be doing other Spider-Man heroes, not exactly versions, like the Amazing Spider-Man version, the, the spider changes, it's like a super long spider on his chest, and uh, I don't plan to do that, however, I can do like the black Spider-Man, I can do like the white Spider-Man, I can do Spider-Woman, I, I plan to make Spider-Woman someday, somehow, but do another Spider-Man, I really don't plan to, that's also why I'm not making the Civil War version. I may put him in the showcase once it comes out, and I will point it out once again that I just like how this Spider-Man came out. So yeah, so I believe that's pretty much it for this figure. I mean, it comes with a lot of details, but that's pretty much it. Even though there's a lot on the figure, it's pretty much the same thing on his entire body. Webs. And I mean, that's pretty much it. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish up this video. So just about a minute before we go, I'm just going to ask you to please subscribe, like, and comment, and tell me what you think about this figure. There will be a lot more stuff coming up, and there will be of a ton of cool stuff coming up on this on this channel i'm sorry if i haven't uploaded as i said i would but uh stuff has happened and it's been kind of hard to go through that stuff but i'm finally back and i plan i usually try to get at least one video each week every week um so this is what i got for you at least for now um, I said I would do an art trooper video, but that's probably not going to happen in the next week. So I'm going to see if I have something else to show you. I've been working on a lot of figures, so I'm going to try and build something up or get something ready to show you guys. Because I know that you guys like my stuff, and I appreciate that. So, yeah. Anywho, I believe I said everything I had to say, so take care. And I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.